Hey guys, how's everything going? I hope you're doing well. This is Jaser, who is not good at algorithms. Today, let's take a look at number 8093, restore IP addresses. Uh, we're given a string. We need to set, uh, add necessary dot, three dots to make it a valid uh, IP address. So, what is a valid IP address? I think zero or zeros to all 255s are all valid, valid IP addresses. So, Mm, how should we solve it? Uh, I think we've done a lot of similar questions before, which is like uh, all power set problem, which uh, please search on my channel. I think that's two or three videos before this one. We just uh, we just uh, put any possible. We just uh, basically we try every try try everything possible. We just to do like uh, put this at here and then add here add here to check if it's valid or not if it's valid then this is a we just connect it to the result if not we just continue to the next one this is uh, called backtracking mm, I is this backtracking mm, yeah I think it's backtracking so but anyway I I will use all I will use all the I uh, use the you common name uh, how to say I will do it as as all as I will do it oh sorry my English is so poor I will do it as always I will name it as walk as a recursion function cost walk so the temporary temporary uh, temp the, the first parameter will be a temporary result above the final string, so it will be temporary. The next will be the rest string of the input. We don't need to create the new string, so I'll use the index at the start as the example. And then uh, we would need to use a result to collect all the result, collect for, for, uh, valid IP addresses. And then we will walk the temporary temporary string the initial temperature will be empty of course and the start at zero which is means start at here okay and then we finally we will return the result okay for it for every time we walk what we do we will first we will add this one to the temporary result and then at the top second or uh, the third right and uh, it should break when these numbers are bigger are bigger than bigger than uh, uh, 255 or it's longer than three digits so when we walk to this 10 what we do uh, oh sorry we need to keep track of the keep track of the, the dot numbers right so we need just to pass it down so they count of dot of of dot of course it's all still zero when we walk to this when we do this one time uh, recursion we will check if count of dot is equal to four or three it's kind of that like, kind of segment It's just to write four pieces and the start because the start would be the ninth, right? So just write the, the all the numbers are just used. Then this is a valid IP address. So result we will push a ten. For the other cases, if the segment is not full, we need to. It's small enough for. Then we need to add a new segment to it. So where should we? You add that we 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 use a for loop for let i equals start i smaller smaller than start plus start plus one start plus two start plus three. One, two, yeah, 
3 and i should be star smaller than uh, s dot length, right? i plus plus. Yeah, either we move to the three digits or to the end of the input string. Yeah, and then we say we will slice it out. Slice the numbers of uh, first number or the two digits or the three digits. So the number would be as slice uh, start i plus one. Yeah, if number is more than 255, right? JavaScript will, will uh, transform the string to number. So it is, is okay here. If it's more than 205, then it is a valid uh, segment where we'll push it to temp and walk it again. Walk Ten plus, we need to add to the add the dot, or if the start we don't add it to so should be temp empty string, then nothing. But if not empty, then we add a dot. And plus the num the count of segments. We have a new segment now, so we plus one, and then uh, the start would be i because we we set the i right. Yeah, so the start should be i plus one. Remember that zero is also a valid segment, but if once zero is is there. It should be no longer, no longer any other digits, right? So if number is zero, we should break this for loop. And for the other cases, if it's bigger than 255, it also should break. Yeah, so that's all for our uh, solution. It's very pretty straightforward. Let's run the code. Yeah, let's submit. Um, there's nothing to address about this solution. It's just, uh, yeah, cr uh, just get used to how to say, make a formula of yourself, of of yourself, make a tool that you can use uh, freely with your mind. Uh, this is the tool I created for myself. I you I always create this method called walk and pass pass down the intermediate result and the other parameters and this call to start and return the result. Uh, this is backtracking and it really helps help it to, is really easy to understand what, what is going on and uh, yeah I hope it, this video helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.